I have a question for you though, Mike. I'm I've never been to Michigan. Ooh. Um and I'm so excited. It's one of the places I've wanted to go most just because to see a stadium of that size. Um what I mean, first of all, what is your relationship to Michigan <laughs> as a Notre Dame person? Can you objectively think it's cool? And B, what should I do? Um so Honestly, this is really tough for me to say because I always mm-hmm. said, and part of the reason I love calling college games now is because for so many places, when I even if I went there as a player, and part of the joy now is I've gotten to go a lot of places that I didn't get to play in, in towns and cities that were in conferences I never had to interact with. But even going back to the places I did play, and when I went down to Oklahoma this year, it was the first time that it happened. It was the first time in the last two years in calling games outside of going down to the Orange Bowl where I played the national title, which is just different because it's you know it's more a pro stadium. <laughs> right. It's full of memories of sadness and heartbreak. The Oklahoma game was fun because we whooped their ass. and mm. But I hadn't gotten to be around outside of that stadium. Going back inside, I had all the flashbacks and was cool. But going around to experiencing the outside... All of that was new, and so it was really fun. Ann Arbor was the same way. I had only ever been to the stadium. I had only ever been inside the big house, which I will say one of my things with the big house and one of the reasons that stadiums like Death Valley and Baton Rouge or Neyland in Tennessee is those stadiums are built up and are very sheer, and so you feel very small on the inside. The big house isn't the same. Mm. The big house goes because it goes so far back and it's built down. Number one, when you roll up on it, you end up curving around because the stadium's actually built down into the ground a little bit but also it just goes back so while it is loud and a sea of maize which is and i michigan fans i, I know we got a tenuous relationship the color sucks like you guys all know it deep in your hearts maize isn't a good color i don't have to explain that to you the reason you guys go with those all blue jordan uniforms is because deep in places you won't talk about at parties you know maize as a color sucks But all that is to say, while I think the stadium doesn't look quite as big as some of its counterparts, still loud, still cool, raucous environment, Ann Arbor is actually a lovely little town. I got to go there for the first time when I was shooting something for a commercial out near Ann Arbor at Eastern Michigan, and I got to stay right in town, and I went and walked around, and at one point I texted my family, I was like, son of a bitch. Ann Arbor is cute as all hell. It's got a lovely little downtown square. It's incredibly charming. You have to go. So there's going to be a lot of split things that tell you. I hunt down basically every place I go. I look for dinner and drinks, ice cream and donuts. And this trip was quick. And so I only got to go for ice cream there. Washtenaw Dairy to me was the spot I was told to go. It is lovely. It has a beautiful combination of wonderful, very original, fun ice cream, Donuts that are also for sale there, and you can buy firewood there, which feels very deeply, <laughs> truly Midwestern in a way that I appreciate. So I have nothing but good things to say, actually, about the town of Ann Arbor, which pains me deeply. No, I can imagine, but that's what everybody keeps saying. I think we might have to do a food tour as one of the videos because the only thing people, I'm like, what should I do in Michigan? You know, in Tennessee, it's like, you got to check out Vol Navy, you know, in Athens, it's like Spike Squad, it's Ugga. In Michigan, everyone, everyone's like yep. Zingerman's, um, Pizza House, um, the Dairy. Zinger- so, you Zingerman's know, does live do up to the hype also, I will say. There's also, and this is just a side note because I feel like you may enjoy it, across the street from Zingerman's, there's a lovely little card shop that also sells the supplies for people that make those fairy gardens out in front of their house. And I only know that Stop because it. my brother's mother-in-law. You have was- a fairy garden. <laughs> I, I wish, and one day, maybe. I know. I, I like, expect. You too. And I mean, that is no, a listen, compliment. My, my brother's mother-in-law, so my my sister-in-law's mom, has a fairy garden mm-hmm. in the front of her house. And so when I saw that, I went in there and decided to endear myself to her forever by buying fairy garden supplies. That's incredible. But lovely little store there. Yes. Zingerman's kicks ass. But yes, it is eating your way through Ann Arbor. The Midwest, we don't have as much of the like bells and whistles around some of the tailgate environments as they do in the South. The one thing that I have found pretty consistently, and I'm sure, I, I don't know if you feel the same same way the sec tailgate scene is just a different animal altogether yes oh one thousand and i think part of the reason i'm so excited to go to michigan is first of all i know a lot of people who went there um and it feels sort of like the closest thing to if college football were a big deal in new england what it would be like (laughs) um i also think that there there are so many people from new england i know who went to michigan so like that i think I think what I'm trying to say is that I think I'm going to feel the most at home there. 
Um, the fact that, you know, they have a Jewish deli there and I was at a football game in the high holidays feeling super guilty and looking around and being like, I think I might be the only person in this situation right now. I don't think there are many of me in Tennessee. Um, but you know, that to me, I think I'm excited because I'm like, oh, We'll have some, we'll have a pastrami sandwich, and you know it'll feel it'll feel. I right love <laughs> Michigan football, deeply northeastern values. Tell I mean, tell me I'm wrong. Like all the people, I hope people I know who went to Michigan are listening to this and can try to tell me I'm wrong because I see all of you, and you're all from 20 minutes yes. outside of Boston. <laughs> don't think we don't notice. All so, right. Yeah, we know. We know. You, you might not know, but we know. <laughs> about you and <laughs> anyone listening to this podcast if you are from around ann arbor i'm sure we've got some midwestern listeners hit charlotte up let her know where all the good spots in ann arbor are take care of our friend here as she gets ready to go and embrace your city